I think one has to recognise that in the last year of an administration there tends to be a certain loss of strategic focus and I think the Obama administration lost its focus on China policy and a certain confusion now characterises uh, Washington's attitude. Uh, I would say there's ambivalence. Uh, part of the Obama administration wanted to pivot to Asia and focus on the relationship. Part of the administration sees a threat and wants to contain uh, the, the rise of China. And the result is an incoherent policy. Meanwhile, I think President Xi has in fact been quite skilled in his diplomacy and has made it quite difficult uh, for the proponents of containment. Uh, there doesn't really seem to be a credible anti-Chinese bloc that one could form in Asia. So I think this is a temporary phase uh, and I'm hopeful that the next president uh, will uh, regain focus and realize that the Chinese-American relationship is the most important in the world and it has to be stable and it has to be amicable. American opening to China in 1971-72 along with Richard Nixon, I think one can legitimately say that he was the founding father of uh, a, a strong Sino-American relationship. Uh, and his own book on China makes a very strong argument that there has to be, as he puts it, co-evolution. Uh, because if not, you can end up with uh, a rising antagonism of the sort that we saw between Britain and Germany in the years before the First World War. I think that is a tremendously important historical analogy that we need to keep coming back to. 1914 came after a progressive deterioration in Anglo-German relations. We do not want another 1914 in the Asia-Pacific uh, region. And I think that's really Kissinger's uh, most important point. Another point which I make in my book is, uh, is his emphasis on history. Uh, you know, he says you have to rec recognize that history is to nations what character is to individual people. And if you don't understand the history of the other side, you wouldn't understand what it is that they're seeking to achieve. I would say that Chinese leaders have made quite a serious effort to understand Western history and especially American history. I wish I could say the same of American leaders who I'm afraid remain pretty ignorant of Chinese history and therefore don't fully understand what it is that President Xi is trying to achieve.